Um, it's me that comes across the border uh, today. Um, the British Art Foundation, actually a pretty well-known charity, I think it's fair to say. We've been going since 1960. We've had huge changes in uh, what we've done and the development and research that we've managed to bring in so many, so many new things that are now helping people live in a better way and saving lives. Um, I noticed in the past at these events you've had local charities um, and sometimes people say, mm, British Heart Foundation, big charity, why should I give to them? Well, I can give you one very good reason. Out of the £100 million pounds of research that we spend annually, we're spending this year in the UK, £42 million pound of it ends up 10 miles down the road on the Cambridge Biomedical Campus. Um, so the chances are that money you donate to the British Heart Foundation stays very, very local. Um, it funds that research, it funds a whole building. There's a building next door to um, Royal Patworth Hospital uh, called the Heart and Lung Research Institute. We not only fund nearly all the research that goes on in there, we also uh, spend 10 million pounds towards the build of that building. Um, and we're very proud of that fact. So it's very much localized. The British Heart Foundation and Cambridge here go together. Uh, I always call Cambridge the city of the heart and it's only just a few miles down the road. Um, we are, we're, we're mainly um, a research-based charity in that that's what we're about. We are the biggest funders of not only um, heart and circulatory dis diseases, but those things that include diabetes, stroke, vascular dementia. We are the biggest funder of research into all those three things, um, and they are all linked. Um, and basically, but why would you? Why should you should support us? Well, still, one in two people will have a heart issue in your family or your friend group um, in, in their lifetime. Um, the one last thing I would say is that we there's a couple other things that we do other than research. We are about to launch a campaign. We're funding uh, more cardiac nurses. Uh, in the past, we just had donation type stations in cardiac wards like Adam Brooks and Patworth. But now we're having uh, information so that you can speak to a, a, anybody in your family who might have a heart attack or a heart issue you're worried about, you can speak to a cardiac uh, nurse on the phone. And that campaign will run between now and Christmas and will be on all the radio stations and, uh, and on TV. And the final thing, um, we are campaigning to um, improve the number of people that have CPR. In Scandinavia, um, they teach it in schools. That's something we're trying to, to, to get at the moment. Um, and in Haverhill, uh, it's still only one person in 10 will survive an out, of, an out of hospital cardiac arrest. Now, if you learn CPR, you can help stop that and increase that number. We can get nearer to one in three, which is what they do uh, in, uh, in Scandinavia. So uh, thank you for inviting me today and uh, I'll just speak to you all later on. Thanks.